Have you been stumped trying to figure out how to debug a TypeScript project as a backend service and with VS Code? Well, you've come to the right place. I've got a simple project to show you how to wire up and debug a TypeScript project as a backend service with VS Code. So let's get started. So the first order of business I want to do is take you on a quick tour of the project configuration. The project configuration is important because TypeScript, we want to compile to JavaScript and we want to tell where that JavaScript should land. What does that mean? So I'm going to go to package.json to start with. And in package.json is used by the node package manager or NPM, or I want to highlight three of the build scripts. One, npm run build would run npm run compile TypeScript, assuming later I would add another step. npm run compile TypeScript would run the TypeScript compiler and compile the TypeScript source and put it in the disk directory. And I'll cover that more in a minute. The last but not least is I want to run the service at once everything is built and ready to go. So I could go npm run service and it would execute the node process with the launch services file or entry point. And so the launch services is what I'm going to run here. And if you note, you can see it's .js, not .ts. And I'm going to show a little bit of a difference because the VS code, you could actually launch the TS directly. In this case, I need to go npm run build. So I'm going to go ahead and show that experience. So I'm going to go to the run and open up the terminal and actually run this process with the npm context to start. And then I'm going to show how the VS Code Launcher can do the same thing. So to start, I'm going to go npm run build. And I've already ran npm install and downloaded the library. So I'm skipping that step. So it now has built and put the resources in the disk directory. Now, if I look, I can see, let's just compare the source, the source directory here with the disk directory. So the services TS is the source that I'm using as an example, as a long running process. It has a simple entry point called run and it runs a timer that runs 10 times. So now I could actually go npm run service and it will run the service. And you can see it's going to output 10 times. Okay, that's pretty neat. Now I want to inspect the process. For example, I you can see I have a breakpoint here. If I run the node process in the node context using npm, it won't break on this. But if I wanted to actually breakpoint on this, I would I would have to run it from the VS Code context using the runners uh, and launch configurations. So in the launch configuration takes more black magic in the file configurations. And what does that mean? So if we look at the context, I just need to point out a few more files that I haven't finished yet is the TS code config. This is important to note because this is the compiler options for the TypeScript compiler. So if we look at the package.json, you can see that we designate this file in the TypeScript compi compiler configuration. Well, it's not here, it's on by default because that's the file that we use by default. So if we actually rename this file to something else, we'd actually have to specify that in the, the configuration op options or arguments in launching that TypeScript compiler context. Okay, so we, we launch it with these compiler options. And now this will be important to reference because this file will be used in the VS Code Launcher as well. To note, I'm not going to cover all these options in detail, but I will note that it's going to output to the disk directory. We're targeting ES6, module common JS. We're going to turn source maps on. It is important that we include the, the source files and exclude the third party libraries so it doesn't have more to chew on than we need. And if we look at the disk directory, we're, it's a, a mirror of the source directory, except that we have source maps. Now that maps the TypeScript code to the JavaScript code. Okay, so now that you've seen the context of the Node Package Manager, let's look at the context 
of VS Code. So I'm going to go to VS Code launchers. I'm going to hit on the run button, go up to the services and look at the launch configurations. Well, I could hit add configuration here, but I'm going to go over to the gear and click on the gear. It'll bring up the configurations. I can see the processes that I have programmed in here. And one of them is called launch service. Its entry point is the launch services TS file. You can see that it's not a JS file in this context. It has a pre-launch task called TypeScript build, and then we are specifying which file to use. Now this is in conjunction to note we have to add a task to VS Code. So you'll need to copy this task.json file and add it to your project if you're gonna run that pre-launch task. Provides the TypeScript compiler configuration for VS Code. So when we run the VS Code launcher, it will go up and run it now. And I'm going to click on the run button. And you can see that the launch process launched the transpiler before it launched the code and executed it. So if I look at the debug ex experience, we now have debug or console output. And it stopped on my breakpoint. So that's pretty cool. I can see now what the variables are i can inspect where it's at in the process and i could walk it if i wanted to and continue the process so i'm going to just hit run and we see that it's now processing the long process and we will go out 10 times and stop so that's the simple configuration of actually running vs the launcher and vs code so that's it if you want to try out the code you can go to Brandflake 2267 and go to the debugging service transcript. There'll be a link in the video description for this project. You can fork it, try it out. It has all the code here. Once you download it and import it into your project, it's going to have the VS Code launchers because it's added into the project. So you should be able to download, load it up, and as long as you have the requirements, the basic requirements of VS Code and NPM and Node environment, you're set and ready to go to try it out. Let me know what you think below in the comments. Thanks for watching today and keep an eye on for more debugging experiences and I'll catch you later.